What's up? I'm Dave Swift and welcome to Dave's Toolbox. This is the series where I talk about the tools I use on a daily basis. I've reviewed hundreds of tools and I don't use them all, but these are the ones that I keep coming back to day after day. Today, I want to talk about Mac Whisper. This is a tool I have mentioned in several of my other reviews, usually in comparison to Mac Whisper as kind of the gold standard and really honestly, nothing comes close to it and I still use it to this day. Now, a few caveats here. Here, Mac Whisper, this is a transcription tool. It runs locally on your own machine, so that's really cool. But as the name implies, it is Apple only, Mac Whisper after all. No, I don't know of any tools that are comparable for Windows. I don't think they exist. I'm gonna show you all the ways that I personally like to use Mac Whisper. It's a very powerful tool. There's certainly lots of different use cases. I can't wait to tell you all about it after a message from today's sponsor, i10x. If you're running a business, you're probably using AI. ChatGPT for writing, Claude for analysis, maybe Perplexity for research. The problem is you're paying $20 or more per subscription. i10x consolidates all of that into one workspace. You get unified access to ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Perplexity, and other leading models starting at just eight bucks a month. That's less than the cost of a single ChatGPT Plus subscription. But here's what makes i10x extra useful. You'll also get access to over 500 specialized AI tools for things like image generation, document drafting, and marketing automation. There's even a chat arena where you can compare the output of different models side by side. If you're tired of juggling multiple AI subscriptions, check out i10x. The link is in the description. My thanks to i10x for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so here is the home screen for Mac Whisper. Now, the most basic way to use this and often the way that I do use it is just to drag and drop files, audio files, video files into the window here and it will just transcribe them all locally on your machine thanks to the OpenAI Whisper model that can run on your own machine. You don't need an API connection here. There's no cost after you buy the tool. There's nothing else you'll ever need to pay for. All right, so I have a folder here with my YouTube exports. I can simply drag and drop it and you can see the drop zone kind of highlights and right away it's just going to start transcribing it there's nothing else you need to do there's no confirmation message it just goes it's pretty great now as this completes i'm going to have some export options uh, there's this nice copy button here so if you're just trying to grab uh, like a podcast you recorded and you want to grab the text and then import it into Claude or ChatGPT. It's really great. You can just dump it in and then it can create show notes for you based on that. There are ways to integrate cloud LLMs directly into Mac Whisper using API keys. And I'll show you that later on. But I think for most people that are already paying the 20 bucks a month, the extra click is probably worth it. Okay, so this is a 17 minute video. It's currently transcribing and it has about 30 seconds left to go. Now I do have a decently powerful machine here. The speed at which it's able to transcribe will be dependent on how many resources you have available for it. I have an M4 Max Mac Studio that I'm working on. I do have a MacBook Air that I use as my daily laptop and I use Mac Whisper on that all of the time and it works just as well, maybe not quite as fast, but certainly a tolerable speed. So definitely speed is one of the things I don't worry about with Mac Whisper. Okay, so now this transcription is done. It's a 17 minute video. It probably took around 90 seconds to transcribe the whole thing. And like I said before, I can easily just copy this. Now it's on my clipboard. I can put it into ChatGPT or whatever I'd like to do. I can also switch over to export mode, which is right over here. And from here, I can choose whether I want a transcript, which is just gonna be a block of text, or if I want subtitles. Subtitles are really great for creating like chapter markers for YouTube videos or timestamps for podcasts. Um, then you just choose the format you want. So SRT is the format that you usually use for things like YouTube. And if we're doing transcripts, I'll usually stick with just a text file. Then you simply export as you normally would in any other tool, just hit export and it pops open the save dialog box. Okay, so that is the simple, easy way that most people use Mac Whisper, but there is so much more baked into this tool that you probably didn't even know was there. Like, what about dictation? I use Mac Whisper to dictate nearly everything on my Mac. So here are the settings you'll want to find. Just go to your settings for Mac Whisper, then check out dictation, turn this on. I like to use the uh, function key or the globe key in order to do push to talk. That's my preference. That way, 
I, I can kind of use it like a talkback mic inside of a recording studio where if I want to transcribe something, I just hold down that key on my keyboard and it starts being transcribed. Let me show you. Okay, I've got a blank note up here and I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate the dictation feature for you, but you should know you can do this anywhere system-wide on your Mac. You just simply hold down the function key and then start talking. Yes, I know that Mac computers, Apple devices in general have dictation built in, but it's not nearly accurate enough for my taste, whereas Whisper is way, way higher quality. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna press the function key now and I'll just start talking. All right, so I'm demonstrating the dictation feature inside of Mac Whisper. I bet a lot of people who own Mac Whisper didn't even know this was built in. All right, so there I just went ahead and talked and boom, within a matter of a second or two, I've got a pretty good dictated example. Now, there's one thing that jumps out to me right away. Here, it's spelled Mac Whisper correctly the next time it left uh, a space in between the two words. But uh, other than that, it's really high quality. Now, one thing that will be different about Mac Whisper from other maybe monthly subscriptions with a cloud tool involved that are basically sending your audio recordings up to the cloud and then dictating them is you will be able to customize those commands a lot more, like in terms of doing things like lists or summarizing what you say. So that would not be built in out of the box without adding API integration, which you can do in Mac Whisper, basically negating the need for any of those subscription tools. That was a little confusing. Let me show you what I mean. If I were to give it a list, like dictate a list of items, it's just gonna give me a chunk of text. Like here is my grocery list. I need tomatoes, spaghetti noodles, and Parmesan cheese. It's gonna go ahead and transcribe that for me. It's just gonna give me a list, like writing it out in a sentence format, which is fine, but not very useful, especially if I'm writing an email, I have to go back in and format everything, or if I'm out at the store and actually using this as my grocery list, certainly not very practical for a lot of items. So for this, we can connect up a cloud provider. Back in the Mac Whisper settings, I'm still under dictation here, and then I've got AI powered dictation. Now I can choose my AI service. I've already got uh, OpenAI connected here. You could use Apple's own foundation model, but then we're kind of in a silly loop where we're dictating. We could just use the built-in function, right? The Apple foundation model is getting better. I just don't think it's there yet. So what you'll need to do if you don't see any options here is just go over to your cloud transcription options. This will let you use more than just for dictation. It'll let you use a provider to do a lot of things in the tool. One is just get that transcription process taking place off of your device. So if you're concerned you've got an older device, you're concerned about uh, you know using up some resources, well, you can send it off to any of these providers. Very easy to do so. But there's some other benefits as well, which I'll talk about in a moment. But for now, let's stick with dictation. What I can do is choose my service here, and then I can add in prompts. So I can have specific prompts like clean this up, translate it, make it more professional. Um, and then I can create my own custom prompts as well, like turn everything into a list, for example. What I'm gonna do is just modify this cleanup prompt. If I click in to edit it, I can see everything here. Um, it says, you know, if it's got a question, edit for clarity, but not provide an answer. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just add in like step number seven. And I said, if the transcript contains a list, add a bulleted list with a list title. All right. so. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. So I will choose my default prompt as clean up and I wanna make sure that I have AI service on. Those are the two things I need. And I'm just gonna delete this and I'll say it one more time using the dictation. So here we go. Here's my grocery list. I need spaghetti, tomatoes, and Parmesan cheese. You can see that it's using the clean up prompt right here and perfect, it formats everything really nicely. So now basically anything that I need to type, I can just say, and it's going to take my ramblings and then clean everything up and make it more concise and easy to read. So if I wanted to write an email to a sales pitch that I needed to respond to, I could very easily do so. Hey Jim, thanks for the offer. I think I'm going to pass right now. Our budget is exhausted for this year, but reach out to me again in maybe quarter two of 2026. We should have some more funds available for marketing at that point. Uh, anyway, I really hope that things are going well for you down in Florida. We look forward to seeing you uh, at the annual meetup next year. 
Uh, best wishes, Dave. Okay, so I just spoke an email there. It's going to upload that transcript to the cloud, and then boom, there we go. I've got a nicely written email in just a matter of a few seconds. Okay, so that's dictation, but the fun does not end there. One of the things I really dislike about YouTube as a YouTuber is that there are so many clickbait titles, I just don't have time to watch all of these videos. So I wanna know, Brian Johnson, is sauna actually good for you? Well, what I can do here is just right click on the video, copy the link, and then over in Mac Whisper, I can simply just dump the link in and it will transcribe the video for me. And you can see it's already working. That was about a 17 minute video. And I bet if I just keep talking here long enough, it's going to be done, you know, we got about a minute and 20 seconds until the entire video is completed. And even that is updating rapidly. So this is great if you're a content creator and you want to get transcriptions of your existing content, you can just dump URLs right in. There's another way to do that in both Bulk, which I will show you in a moment. But if you're just a casual content consumer and you wanna know the answer to a question that a video provokes and you just don't have time to watch the entire video, we'll simply transcribe it here and you'll be able to ask the question. Now, I know that someone's going to comment that sometimes videos have the ask feature built in if you're a YouTube premium subscriber. Like for example, this video has the ask button. I can simply ask a question about the video, but it's very sporadic as to when you actually find it. And I find it frustrating that the video that I typically wanna ask questions to, it's just not there. So over in Mac Whisper, my video is already transcribed, even broken down into individual speakers. I have found that this is not perfect by the way. Sometimes it will think one person is multiple people. So you can turn that off if you want. It is still in beta. Uh, but that's not really the point. I don't need to know individual speakers to have this solve my problem. I, again, could just copy and paste this into Claude or ChatGPT or Grok, whatever you like to use. Very easy to do so, but because we've already connected up our OpenAI API key, if you don't mind spending a little bit on credits, just click right over here and you can go ahead and chat with the transcript. We can choose our model here. It's gonna to default to the foundational model. I'm gonna go ahead and choose GPT 4.1, very affordable, and just ask, is sauna good for you? And there we go. It's gonna say that sauna appears to be very beneficial for health, but with some important consideration. Just like with the dictation feature, there are some built-in prompts that I can choose from here. I could just come in and say, give me the bullet points, and then I don't even have to type anything. It's gonna fill that prompt in for me. There is the option to create your very own custom prompts for this feature specifically. So aside from the dictation, we can have our own custom prompts for transcriptions. I will mention that there is a newer feature in Mac Whisper to record your meetings. It's not going to attend the meeting for you and record it, but if you are in the meeting itself, it can grab the system audio. In fact, you can grab system audio from any application. Uh, back on the home screen, we have a bunch of shortcuts here, so I can just grab app audio from any of my open applications. The last feature I really wanna show you is the batch export feature. So this is in relation to what I said earlier. If you're a content creator and you wanna get transcriptions of dozens or even hundreds of episodes, simply open up Mac Whisper and you can just drag and drop all of the files in at once. Or if you'd like to have a little interface, just go to the batch exporter here and you can add all of your files. So like I said, I've got an export folder that I save most of my recent uh, exports to. I can just choose those files and then I can choose the output that I want to receive. So in my case, I want to have a transcript as well as a subtitle. I can add additional formats right up here. So if you had a third type of file that you wanted to get, you could do that. For me, the two are good. And basically it's going to export to the folder of the audio file, or you can choose where it goes. So start batch transcription. I can choose it to go to my transcription folder, which I'm going to do in a subfolder for now. Here, I'll just put it in this demo folder. And there we go, it's off and running. It's gonna transcribe all of these. I often would just set this up and run it overnight on large chunks of content for myself and for clients that I work with that want to get transcription of all of their course material. We just grab all of the course videos, download them and put them into Mac Whisper. It can turn on this overnight and I'll get beautiful transcripts, subtitles I can add to their existing videos. Yeah, there's just a ton of options here. Before I go, I should also mention watched folders. You can set up watch folders so that as soon as a piece of content hits a particular folder, it gets open in Mac Whisper and transcribed, even automatically exported 
in the desired formats. So that is really cool. If you're creating content regularly, just export to a particular folder and it's going to automatically transcribe that watch folder as long as you have it turned on. So for example, I am watching my export folder and anytime I have a file added to that folder, it's going to automatically be transcribed into both text files as well as an SRT file. All right, there you have it. That is Mac Whisper. I highly recommend this tool. Go ahead and pick it up with a link in the description. Just 59 euros, well worth it. It all goes to support the developer, Jordi, who has sold almost 300,000 copies. So that is inspiring in of itself. Congratulations to Jordi. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, consider hitting that like button. Get subscribed if you're new around here. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. I've got the link for Mac Whisper down below in the description as well. And once again, thanks to i10x for sponsoring today's video. My name is Dave, and I will see you in the next one.